nice deal. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, man. I'm back and we doing this thing again, man. We doing it again, man. I'm back with another little video for y'all, man. Got something a little bit different for y'all today. We're going to talk about dreadlocks today. So, first off, I'm about to uh, unravel my twists. Uh, you know, I, I got them plaited up, braided up. I'm not a loctician. I'm not an expert at hair, none of that. I'm just about to share with y'all some of the tips and tricks that I picked up during my journey. I've been in the dread game for what, three years now, you know? So I'm gonna just share with y'all some stuff while I'm, you know, taking down my hair. I'm gonna share with y'all some stuff that I learned on, during my journey and throughout. And so I'm gonna just take this out the ponytail. I know it probably look crazy, huh? I don't know, I look a little good, yeah. But yeah, man, I gotta uh, twist it up. Uh, one thing uh, about plaiting your hair up is, y'all, if you plait your hair up, be prepared for it to be a little bit shorter than your actual hair. You know what I'm saying? Because you're twisting it up. You're twisting like three dreads together, so, you know, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. So, that's something I wouldn't, like, that's something that caught me off guard a little bit when I first did it. But I like the outcome, so I kept doing it. Uh, but my first tip to y'all is is before I get started because I'm about to get ready to, to do this. Never manipulate your hair at all while it's dry. Never, never, never. Like don't play in your hair, don't twist it around, doing all that. I know like beginner uh people that's just getting into the lock game or you know, you wanna touch your hair all day, you wanna see what it's doing. You wanna just feel it and see how it's, you know, and then you just sit, like if you in school or whatever, you just sit in class and twirl it. Nah, I don't do that. Because it's gonna hurt you in the long run. Like it's fun right now, but it ain't gonna be too fun when your hair get thin. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just leave your hair alone. Let your hair do what it's gonna do, especially if you're just starting out. And if you're gonna do something to your hair, if you're gonna retwist your hair, if you're gonna put your hair in the style or protective style, whatever you're gonna do with it, make sure your hair is moisturized first. At least dampen it. Like it doesn't have to be just drenched in water, but at least like moisturize it. Put some type of put some water on it, put some oil in it, all that. Cause you don't want your hair to start thinning out and you don't want your dreads to start falling out. So that's what I'm about to do now. I got this right here. This was some Jamaican mango and lime. It's not that no more. It's just water in here now. I ran out of Jamaican mango and lime. And I just, it's not, it's not that I don't like the Jamaican mango and lime. It's just that I just don't feel that it did as much for me, you know? Uh, but uh, yeah, this I'd had this bottle since I first started three years ago. So this bottle stayed with me. It's just been my spray bottle. You know, I just put some water in there, maybe a little, uh, maybe a little oil in there mix it up and everything and just moisturize the hair but that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna moisturize my hair just because to get my scalp because i've had these in for what a week now so my scalp is a little dry so i'm gonna just give it a little you know woo, 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 and just get all up in there like that You ain't got. You don't have to do too much though, because I did just get a retwist, and I don't want to, uh, you know, mess up my retwist or nothing. But uh, also, I got this right here, the tea tree oil. Now this right here, this the true tea tree oil. Uh, I like it. It may for some people. I hear that you know it causes a little bit of frizz or whatever, but it may work. It works fine. It works fine. I mean, I ain't scared of a little frizz though, you know what I'm saying? Cause I have thick, I have thick locks anyway, so. Just gotta get that scalp real good though. A little more in there. You, you wanna get, you wanna get the extents of your locks. You wanna go, you know, you wanna go all the way down. Your scalp is really, really important, don't get me wrong, but it's not the only thing that needs to be oiled up, you know? Your, the whole lot needs to be 
you put some moisture in it and some oil in it you want to make sure your hair is oil you don't have to like the first the first week uh you don't have to just go all in spraying water putting all out that because you may you may mess up your uh retwist just a little bit but uh after like that week or so after a week man you're gonna need some uh you gonna need some oil trust me you gonna need some oil but uh yeah this is what i do to get my curls man when i get some curls i love the the outcome of the three three strand like plaits you know they they get my curls in there you know what i'm saying so what i do is i take a i take a rubber band i take one of the rubber bands that i took off to hold the ones that i've already done so that I know which ones I already I've already done, and so I just take off all the rubber bands first, and then I unravel them because I do it like strand by strand, one by one. But yeah, that's what I do. So I got a few topics I'm gonna touch on today. It's not gonna be a real real long video. I just want to tell y'all uh, a few things about uh some some stuff that I found out while I was on my journey, and maybe that'll help somebody out there who's just starting or who's been in for a little bit, but you're not having as much progress your hair might be a little dry or something like that or you might just looking for some looking to learn something new you know but uh yeah the first thing i want to talk about is the first thing i'm talking about is is how to 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 wash how to wash your starter locks like not everybody i know most most guys when they start their hair they do the uh the comb coil method because that's how i did mine i did the comb coil method because i when I first started, I had no idea about the two-strand twist twist method. And if I did, I probably would have done it that way because it's a little bit more, you know, appealing when it starts to lock and everything. Yeah, it just you just can kind of skip that, like what people call the ugly stage or whatever. But I just never call mine, you know, being in the ugly stage. It's because your hair gonna look how it's gonna look. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well, if you're gonna do it, then go ahead and do it. Don't be scared of like the ugly stage or whatever. Just, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a little bit easier for women because they can just, you know, put a, a wrap on their head and, you know, a scarf or something and, and hide it. Or you can even, uh, I, I've even seen women putting like braids in their hair while they had dreads. I know my girlfriend did. She put braids in her hair uh, multiple times while she, and she has dreads as well. So there's plenty of ways that women can, you know, get over that. But man, like you, if you're gonna do it, then just do it, man. You know, you're gonna have to go through what everybody went through. So, and even if you try to do like the the instant lock stage, I know uh, I've seen some people doing like some instant locks. But at the end of the day, once you do those instant locks, your hair's still gonna go through the same process that everybody else's hair has gone through. So it'll look good for now. But when it, it's still gonna start budding and it's gonna do everything that everybody else hair does. So it's just gonna be good for now, you know? I mean, I ain't knocking that. I'm not knocking the instant lock style or none of that. But uh, I just, I mean, you gotta go through, you gotta go through some. Ooh, ooh, I'm looking crazy right now. But yeah, um, I got all off topic. Okay, so how to wash your starter locks. If you have, especially if you have comb coils, uh, it, it's a little bit more lenient when it comes to the two-strand twist. But when you have comb coils uh, and, you, and you get start to want to start to wash your hair, I know I was terrified that my hair was gonna come undone because I sat in the chair for six, seven, no, yeah, I sat in the chair for like seven straight hours getting my hair done the first time, and I was like, man, if this stuff come undone. All oh, that's gonna be for nothing. Nah, I ain't going through that. Mm -mm. So I was really, really scared to wash my hair. And I looked a video up, and I saw somebody uh, was telling was telling people not to wash their hair for like two months after they get it done. Like, man, what the heck? Why? How you gonna How you gonna wait that long? Man, dirty hair does not grow, y'all. So don't don't fall into that trap, man. Dirty hair will not grow. Don't don't wait no two months before you wash your hair, man. I say at the at the max, bro. I say like three weeks. Like not even that long though. Like that's even long. But I wash my hair like the first after the first two weeks. 
and it was all good because I did my research and if y'all watching this video then you know y'all already off to a good start because y'all doing y'all own research all of this stuff that I'm telling y'all today is only uh stuff that I've learned on my journey it's not like the holy grail of information like it's not the end all be all or whatever because like I told y'all I'm not a logician I ain't go to school for this you know this is just stuff that I learned and stuff that I done researched throughout my journey so y'all could take what I'm saying with a grain of salt but so what I did was when I did my research I found out that you you can put a uh, like a do-rag on your head depending on how long your locks are you may be able to put like one of those stocking caps like I, I, re I recommend a stocking cap because it's a little bit thinner and uh, uh, shampoo and everything and the conditioner can get in there so like a thin the thinnest stocking cap you can find and just wrap your hair up in the stocking cap and just uh and then wash your hair on top of the stocking cap like it goes through it, it seeps through the the stocking cap so it's not like you just putting it on top of the stocking cap and nothing is getting to your roots because it actually washes your hair that way you know it gets all up in there but at the same time you're not actually unraveling your locks that leads me into my next point how often should you uh get your hair retwisted like I said, I wash my hair before every retwist. I feel like everybody, if you're gonna get a retwist, man, you need to wash your hair. Like you, you like it's no point of retwisting some dirty hair, you know. So starting off, man, like like this is where a lot of people go wrong when they when it comes to the retwisting. A lot of people they want their stuff to be so neat and they want it to be so cleaned up and everything, and you don't want to go out looking crazy. But at the same time. You you chose to get in this game, so if you do it too much, then your hair gonna start thinning out, your line gonna start receding, your locks gonna start breaking off in, in the middle if you retwist them too much. Because if you retwist your hair too much, you only retwisting already twisted hair. Like that's hair that's already been retwisted. It's no new growth. If you twist your hair every week, it's no way that you have any new growth yet. You know, at the least amount of time, I would say two weeks especially like for beginners because your hair start unraveling and everything but after a week it's not gonna do that yet so retwisting your hair every week is just gonna hold you back and it's gonna thin out your locks and you don't want to do that like you want your locks to have a, a good healthy lifespan and when your hair start locking and budding and everything and you know it's not gonna unravel start maybe every three weeks every month i wouldn't say go past a month because after a month your stuff start looking a little rough but at the same time all the roughness is new growth so it's safe to retwist it again because that's new hair that hadn't already been twisted you get what i'm saying so like if you keep twisting and twisting and twisting your hair it's going to eventually start deteriorating and it's going to start thinning out man so don't do it too close together like i can't i just i gotta stress that one because like you don't you don't want you just don't want those problems man Okay, so I touched on this a little bit when I first got started because I was gonna moisturize my hair anyway. Water is your friend, man. Like, don't be don't be scared of water because water is what keeps locks hydrated. And also, you want to drink water as well because if your body is not getting enough water, your body gonna start grabbing water from wherever it deems that that doesn't need it as much. So it's gonna start grabbing it from your hair, and your hair gonna be dry. Another thing, you want to get you some oil. You got to find, like, like I don't want to tell you to keep putting all these different products in your hair, man. But these natural oils, you can find these oils and you can, you, you have to, like, figure out which ones work for you. If the first oil that you try, the regular olive oil that everybody keep in their kitchen, if that works for you, then, then use that one, you know. I, then, then, bravo, I'm glad that you found the right one the first time so you won't have to try something different. But uh, a lot of times people use certain stuff in their hair and some people may have more dry hair than others. So they need something a little bit stronger. You know, might need some coconut oil, might need some tea tree oil, might need some jojoba oil or something like that. So you got to just look and find and research and see what's going to work for you. You only way to, to know is to try it, man. But you need that oil though, man. That oil really helps in keeping your hair moisturized and keeping it looking fresh man and you, you don't want to just start start a lock journey and, and have your stuff all just dry and stuff man you don't want to do that so the next topic is uh how to maintain your retwist now this this is important 
even if you're not trying to maintain your retwist, even if you don't care about your retwist getting undone or whatever, and you like it, you, you like your hair a little rougher, a little rougher, is that a word? Rougher, more rough. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Whatever. If you like your hair, you know, a little bit on the rough side and you don't really care about maintaining your retwist, that's fine, but this, you still need to do this, man. You have to, have to, have to tie your hair up at night. That's just, that's just super important, man. You have to tie your hair up at night and you have to, uh, you have to do this because sleeping on cotton, most people got these cotton pillowcases. Most people got these cotton pillowcases, man, and cotton strips your hair, man. It strips all the juices out your hair, all the moisture out your hair. It'll make your hair thin out, you know? If you, you know, against like tying your hair up, you don't feel like doing all that. Like me, I'm a little lazy myself. I'm, I've been guilty of not wrapping my hair up like I'm supposed to as well. So I ain't just, you know, talking, I'm talking to us, you know? So if you're gonna just not tie your hair up and if you feel like that's too doing too much at nighttime, you don't have time for that, get yourself a satin pillowcase, man. Satin pillowcase is really gonna help uh, avoid like stripping your hair up. The oils, like I said earlier, dumb all the tips that I got for y'all today, man. I'm gonna just finish taking down my hair right now. Then I'm gonna show y'all the finished product. taken out all of the rubber bands and I've separated them into four different groups so that now I know for sure that all of the rubber bands are taken out. Now I can just uh, take them out out of the rubber band one by one and undo them. So that that's, this is what makes it a little bit easier for me. Like when you're taking them down, when you're taking down your curls, in order to just like to keep the form of the curls, you want to undo them one by one. So it's like you braiding them in reverse. So you want to undo them boys one by one. You don't want to just take your finger and just go down the lazy way because it's, a lot of your curls won't stick that way. Yeah, y'all, yeah, here go the, the end product of the braid out. If y'all like the way this look, you know, it's easy to do. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't think I could do it on myself or nothing. So, shout out to my girlfriend because she hooked me up. You know, she came in clutch with it. And uh, she braided my hair for me and she retwisted it for me. But uh, yeah, man, if y'all like this little video, man, if y'all like this little sit down talk, and if y'all wanna know some more about locks and everything, if y'all got some questions, y'all can ask me. If y'all wanna see some more videos like this, make sure y'all comment that down in the comment section, man. If y'all like how my hair turned out, man, y'all already know, go ahead and put that down in the comments, man, cause I'm feeling it, boy. But uh, that's it for this little video, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, share the whole show. Bang, now we.